So before you want to choose a final concept, you can use the spider web template in order to narrow down what concepts you see have the most potential. So we'll just show how to use the template. The most important thing about the spider web is to choose your criteria. So for example, out from this part of the spider web, we have the first criteria. Here we have the second criteria. And up here we have the third criteria. These criteria, of course, depends on your project and should be chosen carefully, either through a workshop or predefined before the workshop. So how you do it is that each concept that you want to evaluate has a template. So you take your concept and make sure that everybody has understood the concept and everybody understands your criteria. And then you ask yourself, OK, how well does this concept live up to the first criteria, where one being it does not live up to the concept, and all the way up to the end of uh, the scale, which is five, where the concept lived very well up to the criteria. So if the criteria here, for example, kind of lives up to the criteria, then you mark the two first steps, because it's about a two. And then for criteria two, maybe the concept lives very well up to the criteria. Then you can color in the entire thing. And then for the third criteria, it also lives very well up to it, but not as good as it would, for example, with criteria two. So it's a four in this case. Then after you color in all of your criteria, you can count the score. So here we have a two plus five plus four. So that gives a score of 11, which you can then put down here in the corner. With this uh, template, you have a visual representation of how well the concept goes, as well as a numeric score. And that is how you use the spider web template.